In this session, we will discuss about Leon Bosky line clipping algorithm. Consider two end points of a line x1, y1, x2, y2. These are two end points of a line. Suppose delta x is equal to x2 minus x1, delta y is equal to y2 minus y1. We have different forms of line equations. For example, the parametric line equation is the parametric equation of a line is x is equal to x1 plus t into delta x y is equal to y1 plus t into delta y this is the parametric equation of a line in this case we know x1 y1 value delta x and delta y value here t values ranges from 0 to 1. This is the parametric equation of a line. And at the same time, we know the point clipping. We know the point clipping. That is the region where the point is present. That is outside the window boundary. We clip the point. So point clipping condition is xw minimum less than or equal to x less than or equal to xw maximum for the point x comma y this is x coordinate condition yw minimum less than or equal to y less than or equal to yw maximum these two are point clipping conditions next step replace operation replace x with this term replace y with this term that means it becomes xw minimum less than or equal to x1 plus t into delta x less than or equal to xw maximum next yw minimum less than or equal to y1 plus t delta y less than or equal to yw maximum we have these of equations replace x with the parametric equation of a line replace y with the parametric equation of line we are getting these four inequalities so this is the first inequality and this is second third fourth write four inequalities individually suppose by writing four inequalities x1 plus t delta x suppose x1 plus t delta x greater than or equal to x w minimum x1 plus t delta x less than or equal to x w maximum suppose this is clear x1 plus t delta x less than or equal to x maximum this less than automatically this is greater than similarly y1 plus t delta y less than or equal to y w minimum y1 plus t delta y greater than or equal to y1 plus sorry y1 plus t delta y greater than or equal to here this one less than or equal to y w maximum this is the equation suppose next the next step move x1 to that position that means t delta x greater than or equal to x w minimum minus x1 t delta x less than or equal to t delta x less than or equal to x w maximum minus x1 t delta y greater than or equal to yw minimum minus y1 t delta y less than or equal to yw max minus y1 we have greater than or equal to less than or equal to greater than or equal to less than or equal to convert all into same inequality same inequality perform multiplication with minus sign by performing multiplication with minus it converts greater than or equal to into less than or equal to that means minus t delta x less than or equal to minus t delta x 
less than or equal to by performing minus sign x1 minus xw minimum x1 minus xw minimum next two. so t delta x is already less than or equal to xw maximum minus x1 for again greater than is converted into less than minus t delta y less than or equal to minus of this one that is minus yw minimum plus y1 y1 minus yw minimum t delta y less than or equal to yw x y1 these are the four inequalities now all these inequalities in converted into a common formula t into pk t into pk less than or equal to qk suppose this is the formula t into pk less than or equal to qk for k is equal to 1 2 3 4 k is equal to 1 means this equation k is equal to 2 k is equal to 3 k is equal to 4 that means suppose p1 is equal to p1 is equal to minus delta x p2 is equal to delta x p3 is equal to minus delta y p4 is equal to delta y so this is q1 q2 q3 q4 once we are getting these values we are getting these values after getting these values based on this equation we are checking whether the line is inside the window or outside the window or partially present inside the window next we are giving the steps how to we are checking these conditions the steps are first get the line endpoints the endpoints of a line are x1 y1 x2 y2 these are the endpoints of a line after identifying the endpoints next our aim is calculate p1 p2 p3 p4 at the same time q1 q2 q3 q4 and set t value and set t value that means t is equal to 0 for first point t is equal to 1 for last point we have two points for a first point we are setting t value is equal to 0 that means simply represented as t1 for first point t2 for second point after that we are calculating pk value and qk value if pk is equal to 0 means the line is parallel to the window if pk value is is equal to 0 means the line is parallel to the window and qk value is less than 0 the line is completely outside the window qk value is less than 0 the line is completely outside the window next for every non-zero value of every non-zero value of pk we have to calculate this one if pk is equal to 0 the line is parallel to the window if qk value is less than 0 the line is completely outside the window for every non-zero value of pk that is we have two cases whether pk is less than 0 or pk value is greater than 0 suppose the pk value is less than 0 we have to calculate t1 value t1 value is equal to maximum of 0 comma qk by pk qk by pk suppose if pk value is greater than 0 we have to calculate t2 value t2 is equal to minimum of 1 comma qk by pk the reason for calculating t1 and t2 means t1 is the line from beginning to ending 
t2 from ending to this position beginning position initial value of t1 is 0 initial value of t2 is 1 after calculation if t1 is changed after calculation if t1 value is changed that is first point is outside the window first point is outside the window if t1 is not changed that means t1 is within the boundary if t2 value is changed the second point that means the end point is outside the window if t2 is not changed that means simply the point is inside the window these two are appears if t1 value is greater than t2 suppose yes that means if t1 greater than t2 means line is completely here line is completely outside window so only two cases if pk value is less than 0 or greater than 0 if it is less than 0 we are identifying the first intersection point if it is greater than 0 we are identifying the end intersection point if t1 value is greater than t2 value the line is completely outside window simply ignore the complete line if t1 value is changed only the first point is outside the window if t2 value is changed only the second point is outside the window if both t1 and t2 points are changed and t1 less than t2 means we have to find intersection of the first point and end point that means simply some portion of the line is present inside the window now consider an example to implement leon boski line clipping algorithm so this example so the example is consider a window size from 5 to 9 clip the following line these are the two end points of a line so we already discussed these points p1 to p4 values q1 to q4 values and the two end points of a line are 412 and 88 x1 y1 x2 y2 for example this is in diagrammatic representation so our first step is calculate delta x delta x is equal to x2 minus x1 8 minus so this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 8 minus 4 4 delta y is equal to y2 minus y1 8 minus 12 that is minus 4 so next we have to calculate p1 p2 p3 p4 p1 is equal to minus delta x so delta x value is 4 minus delta x minus 4 p2 is equal to delta x p3 is equal to minus delta y minus of minus plus so 4 p4 is equal to delta y that is minus 4 next to calculate q1 q2 q3 q4 procedure is very simple first to calculate delta x and delta y next to calculate p1 to p4 q1 to q4 q1 formula is x1 minus xw minimum in the given question the boundaries are 5 to 9 that is xw minimum is equal to 5 xw maximum is equal to 9 similarly yw minimum is equal to 5 that is from this xw minimum is equal to 5 xw maximum is equal to 9 yw minimum is equal to 5 yw maximum is equal to 9 this is the case so x1 x1 value is 4 4 minus xw minimum value is 5 so value is minus 1 xw maximum 9 minus x1 x1 value is 4 so 5 and y1 minus yw minimum y1 value is 12 and minimum value is 5 7 and yw maximum is 9 minus y1 y1 value is 12 that is minus 3 once calculating observe pk values if any of the pk value is equal to 0 no check whether which parameters that is which pk values are less than 0 and which are greater than 0 from this p1 